Hi, my name is Jenny Shaw and I'm a senior social work practitioner. I have a huge passion for hospital social work and I've worked in this field for 15 years and wanted to share my experience of the, what this role is like with you. Hospital social work isn't always about working in a hospital ward and facilitating discharge. It offers a lot more variety. Within the acute hospitals, we are a valued member of the multidisciplinary team or MDT in A&E and on the emergency floor. We attend the daily emergency floor MDTs and will receive our referrals this way. We will work with nurses, doctors, healthcare assistants, occupational therapists, physiotherapists, speech and language therapists, dietitians and responsive services. We will look to support someone to return home with a reopenment service or look to arrange an interim placement if the person isn't ready to return home yet. Often we can be asked by the Safeguarding Adult Hub or community teams to speak to someone about a safeguarding concern that has been raised. This person may be on the emergency floor or any of the other admitted wards. If the ambulance or police have completed a vulnerable adult report, we can also share this information with the wards to ensure that the issue can be taken into consideration when the person is ready for discharge. We will also often be asked by the integrated discharge teams to support with complex discharges from the hospital and this can include visiting the person and attending discharge planning meetings. When the hospital supports someone to return home via the home first pathway, responsive services will visit the person at home and they will refer to our team. We complete an assessment for the person in their own home and help them to achieve their outcomes. When the hospital discharges someone to an interim placement, we complete an assessment, make a long term plan for the person and working alongside the Care Act, we will endeavour to support the person to return home with support or look at alternatives such as extra care. We also provide social work support to community hospitals who provide rehabilitation to a person after a hospital stay. We also provide social work to support to discharge to our discharge to assess with reopenment beds. In these beds, a person will receive a reopenment approach and occupational therapy and social work involvement. Goals are set for the person and the person is supported to reach their goals and regain their independence. And it is hoped that the person can return home with little or no formal support. So as you can see, there's a wide range of roles within the hospital social work team, each requiring different knowledge and skills, but all focusing on our core social work values and abilities. As a hospital social work team, we complete holistic assessments of the person under the Care Act. We work in line with the Mental Capacity Act. We also work from a person-centred and a strength-based approach. We have the opportunities of working with many other professionals, such as advocates, carer support, continuing healthcare, community nurses, housing, mental health teams, and have a really close working relationships with our community social work teams. To me, the positives of hospital social work is the variety of work offered within the team. Some aspects of our work can be very fast paced and others provide opportunities for longer term work with the person. Every day comes with new and exciting challenges, which keeps us all motivated and offers opportunities to learn and develop as a professional. We're really lucky to work with a wide range of professionals and people of different ages from different backgrounds and diversity.